Hi, and welcome to Serpente Sunday. Today is October 8th, 2023. I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary. And last week I was asked by someone if the color of the enclosure they were purchasing for their snake made a difference. Well, when choosing the color of an enclosure for your snake or other reptile, there are several things to consider, including aesthetics, reflective properties, heat absorption, the room it's going to be placed in, and what is most important to you, the manufacturer and type of cage itself or the color. Some enclosure companies offer enclosures in only one color, so that's what you're stuck with if you absolutely want that particular type of enclosure. Other companies offer more color options. For example, we have enclosures here that are black, white, tan, sandstone, gray, orangish red, and light brown. So let's talk about the black and white of things to make this simple and because all the other colors will just have properties in between what we are about to discuss. Both black and white enclosures have their advantages and disadvantages and your choice may depend on your specific needs and preferences. Aesthetics and visibility may be important to you. The color of the enclosure can affect how you and others perceive the room, the snake, and its habitat. Black enclosures can create a striking and dramatic appearance, and they can be used to showcase the reptile's colors and patterns effectively. However, it may be more challenging to see the snake or other reptile clearly in low light conditions. White enclosures can provide a clean and bright look. They make it easier to see the reptile and observe its behavior, and this can be advantageous for enthusiasts who enjoy watching their reptiles closely, and it will be easier to see the snake in low light or nighttime conditions. Now let's discuss which color reflects more light. The choice between black and white enclosures can have an impact on the lighting requirements for both the enclosure itself and the room where it's placed. You should remember from your basic physics class that black absorbs light and white reflects light. Black absorbs a significant amount of light and heat energy. If you have a black reptile enclosure, you will need to use more lighting to achieve the desired brightness inside of the enclosure. To properly illuminate the interior of a black enclosure, you're likely going to need brighter and more focused lighting. This may include using higher wattage heat lamps, UVB lamps, LED lights, and basking lights to ensure that your reptile receives the appropriate levels of light and heat. Room lighting is also impacted. The light absorbed by the black enclosure will not contribute much to the overall brightness of the room. So if you want to make the entire room brighter, you'll need to rely on room lighting sources such as ceiling lights, lamps, or natural light from windows. Using brighter room lighting may help compensate for the dark enclosure, but a dark enclosure won't add much ambient light to the room itself because the black is absorbing light and not reflecting it back out into the room. White, on the other hand, is highly reflective, which means it bounces back a significant amount of light into the room and into the interior of the enclosure off the enclosure walls. If you have a white reptile enclosure, it will reflect light effectively, making the interior brighter with less lighting. A white enclosure will require less intense lighting for the same level of brightness inside. Standard reptile lighting like UVB bars, fluorescent or LED bulbs, and lower wattage halogens may be sufficient to provide the necessary light and heat for your reptile in a white enclosure. The room also benefits from the enclosure lighting. A white enclosure can contribute to the overall brightness of the room by reflecting light back into the space outside of the enclosure. This can help make the room feel brighter without the need for additional room lighting. Just remember when making decisions that black enclosures absorb more light, so you'll need to use brighter and more focused lighting inside of the enclosure to achieve the desired lighting conditions. And white enclosures are highly reflective and require less intense lighting for the same effect. And white enclosures can contribute to the overall brightness of the room by reflecting light, which may reduce the need for additional room lighting. Your choice should be based on your reptile's specific lighting needs and your preferences for both the enclosure and the room's lighting conditions. But what about temperature regulation? Does the enclosure color impact that? 
Well, reptiles are ectothermic, which means they rely on external heat sources to regulate their body temperature. They cannot generate their own body heat. So the color of the enclosure can affect the temperature inside. Black is a color that absorbs more heat and light energy, which can lead to higher temperatures inside of the enclosure, specifically higher surface temperatures on the walls, ceiling, and floors. But this can make it more challenging to regulate the temperature in warm climates or if the room as a whole is kept really warm. Black enclosures can get very hot. White enclosures, on the other hand, tend to absorb less heat because white is highly reflective. It can help maintain cooler surface temperatures inside of the enclosure and may be a better choice for areas with high ambient temperatures to begin with. Just remember when it comes to heat absorption that dark colors like black absorb more heat from light sources. If you're using artificial lighting or heat lamps in the enclosure, a black enclosure may absorb and retain more heat on surfaces than white ones. But what about if you have live plants inside of your enclosure? Let's think about that for a minute. The color may affect the growth and health of your plants inside. Since black enclosures absorb more heat and light energy, they can maintain higher temperatures inside. And this can be advantageous for plants that require warmer conditions, like tropical or desert species. It may be easier to maintain the desired temperature for heat loving plants in a black enclosure because the enclosure itself can contribute to the heat retention. But don't forget about humidity. Higher temperatures in a black enclosure can lead to increased evaporation of water from soil, and this may require more frequent watering to keep the soil moisture levels stable for your plants, but it may increase ambient humidity for your reptiles. White enclosures, on the other hand, are going to reflect more light and heat, and this can help maintain cooler surface temperatures, and overall, the enclosure may get less hot than a black one would using the same heat sources. This can be beneficial for plants that thrive in lower temperatures or those from temperate regions. A white interior can help prevent overheating and lower temperatures in a white enclosure can lead to reduced evaporation of water from the soil. And this means less frequent watering might be necessary, but there may also be less ambient humidity in the air. Both black and white enclosures can affect the amount and quality of light that reaches your plants. A black enclosure may require more intense lighting, to ensure that plants receive adequate light for photosynthesis. And some light will be absorbed by the enclosure itself instead of getting to the plants. A white enclosure reflects more light, which can benefit plants by increasing the overall light available for photosynthesis. In summary, white enclosures are highly reflective, bouncing back a significant amount of light, which can make the interior appear brighter tend to maintain cooler temperatures, may have reduced soil evaporation for plants, and are aesthetically bright. The clean and bright look of white enclosures can enhance visibility, make it easier to observe reptiles and plants, and it can contribute to the overall brightness of the room it is in. Black enclosures absorb more heat and light energy, creating a warmer environment that may retain heat, but the higher temperatures in black enclosures may lead to increased moisture evaporation from the substrate. Black enclosures will reflect less light, potentially requiring brighter and more focused lighting inside and may overheat more easily in warm climates or in warm rooms. Black limits aesthetic brightness, which may make it harder to see reptiles and plants in low light conditions and will not contribute light to the room as a whole. Keep in mind that for other colors, the lighter the color, the more light and heat will reflect out to the environment from the surface of the enclosure and the darker the color, the more light and heat will be absorbed into the enclosure itself instead of being reflected back out. So this means that the enclosure walls, the floor, and the ceiling are absorbing light and heat, and none of that is getting reflected back out into the enclosure as a whole or into the room as a whole. The choice between white and black enclosures or some light or dark color in between is going to depend on the specific needs of your reptiles and plants, as well as your environmental conditions and your own aesthetic preferences. Consider the temperature and light requirements of your reptiles and plants when selecting an enclosure color to ensure their health and well being, and then buy what you like. What will you be content to look at, and what will make the room pleasant to spend time in? Well, everyone, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, please remember to always be kind and love your animals. Mm -hmm.